I know you guys like to have the cats in the video, so here's Goose. Let's get to unbox this GTX 1080 Ti. What's up, y'all? Back on the dog bed sheets today. Gotta love them. Uh, let's throw back to my uh, old classic unboxings. Uh, this is a GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition from EVGA. Although basically all the Founders Editions as uh, graphics cards are basically all the same. So because of that, I'll try to make this unboxing uh, fairly short and sweet. Huh. The back is par is fairly plain. I was looking for um, uh, requirements for power, but I really don't see any on here. So I'm just going to assume. Uh, 600 watts, I guess, would work. And there's a little glimpse at the 1080. But before I really get into this unboxing video, uh, if you guys have been around for my unboxings for quite a while, you know the deal already. But I get these graphics cards from Cutting Edge Gamer, and uh, that makes it uh, a lot more affordable to get really, really uh, nice graphics cards. Uh, th this graphics card, I think, uh, you know, you, you would pay like six to eight hundred bucks. I honestly forget how expensive this is, but I think with Cutting Edge Gamer, it's like 70 or 80 bucks a month. Um, which is a lot, but whenever you consider the fact that these graphics cards are way more than that, uh, it's, it's a nice thing. Uh, and you can also upgrade whenever you want. You can, uh, if your graphics card breaks, they'll send you a new one right away and you don't have to deal with RMA. And uh, you can, uh, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of slew of other things. You can upgrade whenever you want. It's a, it's a pretty cool service. So check it out, link in the description. Also helps out my channel. But let's stop talking about that and let's get into this unboxing video. Stickers, user guide, oh snap. Oh wow, we actually get adapters. Uh, I really wasn't expecting that. All right, uh, looks like a display to DVI. Uh, DVI-D, I believe. Doesn't look like there's any analog inputs really on there, but uh, that's cool. Uh, nice, and you get some power adapters. Looks like this one is uh, probably a six pin to four, or to two four pin Molex connectors. And then you get another adapter, which is a, uh, let's see, it looks like an eight pin to go to two six pins. So if your power supply doesn't have enough connectors, you can use those. But here's the uh, graphics card right here. Um, like I said, it's the Founders Edition, so I don't know. They're kind of boring, but they're kind of cool at the same time. I don't know. Like some people like these graphics cards a lot better than the, like, than the, than the aftermarket cards. Um, personally, not so much. I mean, they're nice. But um, I've especially heard about some things, uh, some issues with thermal throttling on this design because like th this huge graphics card, like this is like <laughs> basically like the only bit of heat sink. Um, and that's really not super adequate on a GTX 1080 Ti, but uh, that's just my opinion, I guess, at least. Um, oh, I forgot this thing. Oh, yeah, I remember. That's why it comes with this adapter, because there's an ODVI in here. OK, that's why I remember that. Um, I think they took that off for more airflow probably, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. You can kind of see in there the heat sink and everything too. And uh, just so you guys know, Goose is going into the box. So uh, prepare for a lot of noises from that. So you get display, HDMI display display. Um, and as the display should be 1.3, I believe. I don't think they changed that. And HDMI should be uh, 2.0 and it actually works as 2.0. Um, unlike like the RX 580, which I just benchmarked, uh, the HDMI 2.0 port is kind of messed up on there. There you got a protector on the PCI Express slot, which is very cool. Uh, you get the GTX 1080 logo here, which is um, looks like it's kind of metallic. Like it's, it's, I feel like it used to be black, right? And now it's, now it looks like that. So cool, looks pretty cool. But I do like, you know, the uh, is it is it plastic? I don't know. It feels very beefy. Sounds like a combination of plastic and metal or something. I don't know, but it feels very beefy, so that's nice. From what I've found out from people that have opened up these graphics cards, this little back of heatsink is literally just there for aesthetics. So in case you're wondering, that is uh, only there for looking good. It literally has no attack, uh, like it's not attached to the GPU to dissipate heat whatsoever. Um, I don't really know if air even gets sucked in through there or not. It might, I'm not really sure. Um, but Gamers Nexus like opened up these graphics cards and basically put um, like uh, an EVGA cool closed loop cooler on there, uh, cooled it that way. So if you guys are interested about that, those videos are actually pretty cool. Power inputs, an eight pin and a six pin, which are not flipped. So keep that in mind. You do get a backplate and EVGA has fairly good backplates. I mean, they're not flashy, but you know, that's kind of a good thing too. So uh, there you go. And apparently they got a little 
EVGA's got a little sticker there. Um, I think it's on top of a screw as well. So if you want to take it off, you're going to void the uh, warranty. So that's cool. You get SLI fingers. Hooray. Um, it's probably still just, uh, probably only you can do two graphics cards unless you do some witchery, I guess. So there's the graphics card, GTX 1080 Ti. It looks pretty cool, but um, it's a founder's edition. So yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Eventually I'll try to get um, some custom cards, but I wanted to start off with this one. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see a benchmark of this graphics card, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to drop a like on the video, please do it. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'll probably just leave the plastic on there because I'm going to return this graphics card in like a couple weeks. So I'll make it new, make it look new for the next guy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you later. Peace out.